Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Extra Sauce with me, Bossum. I did not say your guy because it is a cliche. Uh, uh. <laughs> Happy New Month, everyone. This is another beautiful month. Like, this is the January, February, March, April. April, fourth month, fourth month. Now, this is the fourth month. Hey, hey. Uh, the 20, year of 2019 has finished, too. This is this. I'm telling you, it has finished. We know because we go April, May, June, July, June. Pss, 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 pss. Anyway, so this is the 1st of April and everybody went on with the April Fool's thing. I thought it was in the past. I thought I was not going to ever fall for this April Fool thing. But then, I did. So last week, last week, Shade Ladipo went on Instagram and said, Oh my goodness, she is done with sliver bed. Oh my goodness, silver bed is this, silver bed is that. Ho oh, ho ho, and she do the F you challenge and say help you sleep a bit oh god so apparently silverbird inspired me because apparently i'm too controversial i say too much things i guess can't just censor me i guess i don't know but you know what what is happening i was like what is happening i don't understand then my friend upper cool a colleague a colleague way in the in the, in the office, eh? That one who posted, oh Shade Ladipo, did he not sack you? You did this, you did that, and I'm like, what is happening? Every day, every day, last week, today, yesterday, every day. Come on, just take your mic, come on, take your mic, come on, take your mic, come on, take your mic, take your mic, take your mic, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I beg. Just take it easy. See, I have things to do. Please, people should be I called a friend. I called like five people. It was in, I was just calling. But what's happening? What is happening? I called Shadi. I didn't call her. I sent her a message on Instagram. Like, Shadi, what is happening? Insta block carried this. I said, hey, what is this? Oh, hey, silver bed. Oh, my goodness. Everyone said, oh, silver bed is this. Silver bed. I'm like, what is happening? Only for me to come to work this morning. Hmm? And guess who I saw on television? Shadi Ladipo. And they shouted, hey, brief. I'm like, what did you just do? And I want to say, happy April Fool's Day. I'm happy not in Silver Day. I'm not fighting with Gideon. If you fell for Happy me, April sir. Fool's Day. <laughs> Shade I, is not going anywhere. No. But we have an announcement. This is our new member of the family. This is Mr. Gideon Okeke. No, really, what did you just do now? You took me on a roller coaster of emotions. I was thinking, I'm like, I don't understand. I, what is happening? Why would you start from all of a sudden? Nothing happened. You didn't have it. I just. <sighs> so, Gideon Okeke has joined TOS, that's today on STV. So, that's why we did all this whole drama and put everyone, including me, on a roller coaster of, a roller coaster of, a, of emotion. In short, actually, everybody in the office didn't know. Did you guys know? Nobody knew in the office. Everybody was like, what happened? We're all confused. I don't understand. Anyway, happy new month. And Gideon, welcome to the show. Welcome to Today on STV. And Shade Ladipo, we need to talk me and you. I don't understand. Eh? You are my muse, you are my inspiration. I don't understand this life. Why will you do this to me? Eh? Eh? Now, the next story is a very, very sad one. And I think that it is an issue that people should actually talk about. Especially in, in, in America, like the black community should actually look into it. Now, um, it was announced that this morning, Grammy nominated rapper Nipsey Hussle was shot dead in front of his, his, his um, shop. And I'm like, why? It was a drive through sh um, um, killing. And I'm like, why? Why? So you know the funny thing is that if it's a white man that attacks a black man in, uh, abroad, everybody's going, the world goes like, oh no, black life matters. Oh no, why would the white people do this to the black man? Oh no, the black man is this. Oh, the black man is being oppressed. In fact, the black man always goes out, the black man who comes out and says, oh no, he has been, uh, he's been uh, oppressed. Oh, the world hates him. Oh, this, 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 that, 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 that. Now, a fellow black man, a man that is talking about putting the, the black community in a positive light, a black man that is trying to, trying to make black people mean something to the world, a black man that is trying to project the black man to the world as being positive, was shot dead. I don't understand. What would have happened? 
What kind of differences are you guys going? Oh yes, the gist. So it was it was it was gathered that he is doing uh, some kind of documentary where the big names would be called out and they would lose their business and 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 that's why some people are saying that's why it was shot dead and I'm like, it doesn't matter. If you think he's doing something that's going to affect you, why don't you change? Why don't you? Um, try to make something better. Reach, okay, you know what, bros, Alpha. This thing wants is going to destroy my name. Oh. I understand that this thing, this thing we are doing is not right. Okay, yes, I will try and um, and pipe low and try and correct things. You don't have to be violent. You don't have to be violent. Like, and I think the Americans should look into this gun violence. They should try and stop giving people guns indiscriminately. Like, they should stop giving people allowance to. I do not say it's safe. This weapons thing that they're holding, I understand that they have rights to do whatever to do, but this gun violence is too much. It is too much. A positive man is a father. And uh, it's really, really, really sad. Really sad. It doesn't make sense. Wh why? Why? Now, the black community is silent. It's not trending. They're not saying, oh, black life matters now. No one is talking about it right now. They're just saying, oh, R.I.P. Uh, Nipsey Hussle. Oh, rest in peace this, rest in peace that. In fact, Nick, uh, McMill says that, what, what, what did he say? He, he talked about how when it comes to a black man, coming after a black man, that's when we forget that the black life matters. And which is true. Which is true. I don't understand. I don't understand. You guys should do better, please. Please. So another sad story, I don't know, I, I just think that this, I know, okay, this episode is not about sad stories, but we started with April Fools and we talked about um, the death of um, Nipsey Hussle. Now, this is another sad story. And this story is, is one that I thought we had a kind of solution to. So, tragedy struck in um, Olua Border Street, that's in Lagos City, where SARS official went to arrest a, a man on dreadlocks. That one, that's one that even got me angry. You went to arrest a man, arrest a man on dreadlocks. And when he entered the street, he started shooting indiscriminately. Then a straight bullet went and hit one brother watching football at a football center, at a football viewing center. For heaven's sake, for heaven's sake, why are you shooting indiscriminately? Why will you even shoot in the first place? And please, hello everybody, did they not say that they've disbanded stars? Did they not say that? Oh, I don't understand. Were they not, and they've been controlled? I'm confused. I don't know how the people that are supposed to be protecting us are the ones killing us. What kind of style is this? Style shooting indiscriminately. That one was hit. The brother was hit by a straight bullet. What is this? And funny thing, the guy is an only child. He just came in. He just came to visit Nigeria. Oh. He came to visit. Oh. He came to visit. Oh. He met his Waterloo. Eh? What kind of style is this for heaven's sake? What is this? I think the government should look into this. I do not understand why a security official will come because he wants to arrest a dreadlock. Please, bless him first of all. Who told you that a man that is on dreadlock is a cultist? I'm confused. Ah, let me give you my details. Now, this day, I'm even afraid for myself. Once I see policemen, once I just see any men in black, ho oh, oh, ho, I'm always like, I always try to just say, go, am I okay? I just check myself because if you don't, please. I've, I've, I've been taken to the police station before. Yes, I have been. They said I was walking in the middle of the night. I don't understand. I had my ID card. I was coming back from work. I'm confused. I don't understand. But why are we doing this? The government should look into this matter. I think the whole police force needs a new orientation. They need to take them and give them human training. Like, you need to have some kind of human relationship training. Like, even if you're going to hold down a criminal, there is a way you hold them down, except they are being violent. I don't, I, I don't understand innocent people, whether you do youths, especially the youths. I don't understand. It is not right, really. It is not. It's really sad. Really, really sad. Now, we are afraid to walk on the road now. You carry one call of hair, they will arrest you. You do that on hair, they say you're a courtist. You have uh, bush, you are going to win. One tone that's all about the whole, oh, you have entered police station. Wow. Wow. Please. Government should look into this, please. They need to like reevaluate the whole police force. Tell them and call them. See, your work is to protect these people. Your work is to catch criminals, original criminals, not boys that are young, boys that are being fashionable. The, the moment you see, you see, 
the the trend is the moment you see they see that you have gold chain on your neck, you wear uh, fine shoe, carry Rolex with Troy. Oh, oh, you're a Yahoo boy, or you're a courtist. Oh, courtist for you after two years, or you put teardrop. Oh, who will be tied if you have one teardrop here? Hey, hey, you're going to police station straight up. It's not play. They will not even talk to you. The other time, my friend was arrested. We were, we were going to, we were supposed to meet at the mall. The guy was just coming down to me and they, they carried him. They said, where is he going to? This guy landed in the, at the, in the police station. Yeah, I, no jokes. No jokes. Landed in the police station and they were interrogating him. Saying, where is he going to? The bro was like, he's going to the mall. He had to beg them. See, I beg of you, the government needs to come into this thing. The government needs to look into this matter because I am really, really sad. We just lost a lot. And so many lives have been lost. So many. The ones that we don't even hear about. The ones we don't know about. They are being lost there. They, they go out to arrest people and they'll call the family to come, and, to come and bail them. Why? Why are we doing this? Really? And I'm asking again. I thought they said SARS has been disbanded. I thought they said they've been disbanded. What is happening? Please, someone should answer me. I don't know what's happening. Now. Eh? Moving on. Moving on, Jerry. I'm angry, really. I'm really pissed at this whole thing. Because really, it's just sad. We just lost another life. He, 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 he guy just became a father. Can you imagine? Let's just move on, I beg. <sighs> I'm calm now. Now, on a lighter note. Oh. After we've tried to... Wait, just hold on. Uh, I think we had um, Atlanta. Let me just come from Atlanta level. I tried to dance. I learned that Atlanta when, when we were doing the oh, where I tried to do it, I got that one. Then we now had the, from Atlanta, we now had the Shaku. The old Shaku. Eh? Then we now had the, eh, eh, the, eh, 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 body. We had that one now. Now, Olamide and Daniel, they've come again. The new dance is Wakajeje. I am confused. Bro, you people, we have not finished learning Zanku. We have not finished learning Zanku. We are still battling with Zanku. I see, I've seen some Zankus that hey, hey, here they catch me. Like, you see the way they'll do the, they'll do the, they'll do the, they'll do the, like, they'll do the, they'll do the body like this. Eh? Now, nah, there's a new one called uh, Wakajeje. Allow me, please have mercy on us. I beg of you. Eh? Daniels, Uncle. We know you are the one that brought uh, you made the old shaku shaku level sweet for us that year. Please, you put, take it easy. Eh? I hope this new dance is going to be very, 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 very easy for us. I'm, I'm confused. You pull. Please, I beg of you. I understand that we are trying to evolve. And let the movie music to evolve too as the dance is evolving. Do you understand? Let everything evolve, please. And you guys, thank you. Eh? I'm still battling. I'm telling you. I'm, ba I'm battling. Like, see, see, see. We are trying to. Do very, eh, eh, we are doing that one. What are we doing again? We are not doing wakajeje. You people take it easy with us, so. Eh? 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 <laughs> anyway, that's all we have for you on today's episode. Do join us again for another interesting gist on Extra Sauce with me. I'm not saying your boy, but soon. Goodbye. Hey guys, I'm sure you enjoyed today's episode. Now, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Rhythm FM Nigeria, and also follow us on all our social media handles. Now, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment Rhythm FM Nigeria.